Morning! Morning, mate! Morning! Hello, I'm Joe Seals, and this is our farm in South Yorkshire. Um, I do a daily vlog, uh, so every single day I've done a video for the last year and a bit now um, about life on our beef and arable farm. Andy's back, he's been in. Oh, I'll let Andy tell you where he's been actually because uh, we were keeping that a little bit of a secret. But first of all, I'll jump on this mixer, I'll spin it round, we'll get some molasses in and we will start a mix so we can feed these cows. We'll pop on the PTO, give her a few revs, pop some molasses in. And now with the very squeaky seat, which I don't notice usually, and is there. <laughs> right, the mix is full and purring away. Moves in a bit. I'll jump on the TM and we'll start feeding around the little bits that we've got left. Well, they're all eating away, which is what I like to see. The lorry is smoking a lot. Mm. Like we're having issues with it. So we'll just I've just wiped the dipstick. I'm just gonna check the oil. So we're gonna leave it running and see if it clears. So it did smoke a bit yesterday on me, but then it cleared itself. My dad driving at this time anyway. Yeah. Do you enjoy pumping it up and down, Andy? Because mm, yeah. now we're going to have to pump it down, move it to where I want us to move it, then pump it back up so that we can take a pipe off. Well, not just tell it. It's going to be lovely. We've got a low chopper somewhere. We heard it, but we can't see it. No idea where it's gone. <laughs> there was what? Helicopters everywhere? Yeah, loads. Why, where did you go then, Andy? To London. You went to London. The Tower of London, weren't it? Yeah. Seen Big Ben, seen Buckingham Palace, Marble Arch. Oh, nice. Proper trip then. A nice bridge, Chelsea. Jesus, no messing. So, we were just looking to see if it was a turbo, um, maybe oil going into it. But, in here, I mean, it's sooty, but there's no oil. In there, there's no oil on this side of the intercooler either. So we don't think it's a turbo right now. I think it could be diesel getting in somewhere. Mechanic's on his way, anyway. So it's nice to be able to work in uh, somewhere that's got loads of space. So I'm just sat on top of engine here. And where we go. I think we've got the rescue lorry here. I can hear it. Coming to take the cow. Yeah, Mr. Brownbridge to the rescue today. It's a beast of a wagon. So I'm not sure if I explained, but mechanic wanted me to. Andy just getting off there. Uh, mechanic wanted me to look in here to see if there's any oil in the pipes um, going to and from the intercooler. Because uh, he thought maybe the turbo had gone, the oil was leaking out of there, coming through with these, going into engine, then burning out the white smoke. But he seems to think it's the. Uh, something to do with the fuel now so I'll put it back together so that when he gets here he can turn it on and run it and do whatever he likes with it then can't he so yeah put these things back on seal it all up just got off with the arctic there my dad's just um, putting the, he's been putting the spreader bale in behind it um, yeah I'd like an arctic I've got my class one it'd be nice to have one a bit tight on some farms getting in and stuff um, but at least we would be able to take more cattle in one go. Um, and I don't know, there's something about tractor units, like lorry tractor units. I just, uh, yeah, just would be nice to have one for some reason. I've got it, got it in, me, in my head that it'd be like an adventure. Getting it back and sleeping, sleeping it back and all that kind of business. Probably dislike it after one night, but you know, it's just a nice like thought in my mind. So? I think we 
there was fans everywhere in London yesterday. Everybody oh yeah. Their phones out taking photos, and I think they're trying to be sneaky. You know? <laughs> <laughs> A sneaky like Andy photo. Yeah, I've never seen like it. <laughs> I bet we're a bit different to here, weren't it, Andy? A bit busy. It was quite busy. It wasn't too bad. You got tube? Yeah, it was not too bad. Yeah. Bit some stress, but yeah, some people. What? Well, <laughs> what? Some? Are you gonna call Londoners out here? Yeah? No, no, no. One Londoner. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but with all the lorry messing about. Coffee time has come very late today. A lot of tourists there then, Andy. Yeah, from other countries. Snapping pictures at you. Yeah. Uh, well, not, you know, no. they just snap pictures at everything. Don't everything, they? yeah. But, um, I don't know, I, you know, like, people say, oh, I couldn't do London, I couldn't do London. Like, I've only been about three times in all my life, but I have quite enjoyed it when I've gone, because it's like something completely different to what I'm used to. Yeah, that is not. I like getting out of my comfort zone and doing something like, yeah. So if anybody wants to take us on a trip to London, we're in. We're in for it. <laughs> I don't know why we'd go. Why would they want us in London? Mouses of Parliament, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we could be the next Prime Minister or something, Andy. Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> I don't think so. Andy's just saying how much his, his dinner was. Yeah. Was it a sandwich? Two sandwiches, a bit of cake, and a yeah. couple of drinks. Yeah. That's 30 quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like as farmer. Boots meal deal. <laughs> Five or something. I don't even know how much boots meal deal is. He's, he's going down um, Knightsbridge and it was like we come up to McDonald's and we're like, this is the only place we can afford. <laughs> no. And Andy now are just clipping, worming, vaccinating, putting your tag in these new cattle <laughs> that have come recently just to make sure they all staying healthy. Andy, well, Andy's been clipping. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> and this is mine, nice and clean. But I'm having my hair clipped later. Yeah. Yeah, big mixed daughter's coming. So the beard will be going. Oh, big getting trimmed. Um, I wonder if she can sort out some greys now. Yeah. Getting old after just my birthday, you just see. Just for men, like. Yeah, it? yeah, a bit of just for men, get all black, <laughs> blacked on. Super. So we took this pipe off, Mark has, and um, it got a bit, there's a bit of wet, a bit of water in there, so we're thinking maybe it could be EGR putting water into the system. He's going to take pipe off at front and then see where we go from there. You can see in there there's water in it, it's wet. So, reckon there's a leak in that EGR then? Possibly, yeah. Oh, lovely. cylinder if it were every cylinder it would be continual white you yeah. can see that that's pulsing just on a cylinder yeah. as the cylinder's firing that is going to cost serious money to repair um what do you do though like you can't sell it as scrap because you get nothing for it fix it, it <laughs> set fire to it um yeah you got to fix it because then you can sell it you can sell it and it's right can't you so yeah uh, bye money uh, bye if anybody wants to buy a hat or uh, anything like that it'd be much appreciated um oh go fund me for the lorry yeah that'd be a good idea yeah somebody set that up for me that'd be fantastic go fund me engine rebuild scan your lorry i don't really need that but just, just a hassle, hassle. What, Clarkson's done it, Clarkson's done it for Gilbert? It's not her, we've lost 60 TV. Well, lost must 60 be, TV. must be. Yeah, something, something. She lost 60 cattle, and, well. Yeah, and her income. Like, and that, I'll not go in there. Mm. I ain't watched the end of it yet, so I don't know if that. It's good, it's good, I've watched it all. It's good, it's really good. People should watch Clarkson's farm, it's fantastic. <laughs> but Clarkson doesn't have stuff break down like we do, does he? 
you know, watch us for our misery entertainment. Talking about Clarkson Farm, this is a Clarkson Farm tag. So the pins at the back, that's not the way it should be. It should be like we've put the red one in there to the front so that it gets protected by the inner ear. So when they're rub, rubbing past something, this doesn't get caught and rip, it, rip the rear tag out. That's the idea anyway. And they're just vaccinating it. I'm just getting some more vaccine for these guys, but doesn't that veil look funny in there? It looks too small. It's because it's one of them small ones from the uh, John Deere baler. These guys are all looking good. We sorted all our um, cattle up now. Everything's vaccinated and done. Good. I feel like Tom Pemberton with this. So I've got, oh, you're not, you can't see it. I've got my like um, tripod thing on. Anyway. Joe. What's that? You look very clean. I am, I am very you chose, clean. You chose the right job, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Uh, we looked the same this morning. I'm the, um, I was the uh, laptop controller. Yeah. And, uh, and crush controller. It's a te technical job, Andy. So I'm pumping the cab down now, just in case it rains so we don't get engine wet and then we'll get that into the garage and get some money spent on it. Lovely jubbly. So can you count Ben? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So you're only like 10 off. I know you've got 11 tours. Yeah. I counted them going <laughs> up. Counted 44 cattle and Ben counted 54 as we're going past him. Like how can you get 10 wrong on that sort of number? No. Right, I'm off for my hair cut. Do you want yours cut, Andy? Uh, good today. Yeah. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it funny watching Daddy or his hair cut? Yeah. <laughs> Hair's all cut, job done. Um, wait off. We're going to see what these guys are doing anyway. I think they're feeding up. Yep, Andy's doing a mix. By the looks of it. And Ben's on feeding out. With his dog in the cab. That's better than you, mate. Is it? Yep. So Ben's in here just feeding out now. And then we got the mix to tip off. This is about to run out of meal. How are we all doing guys? He's been aggressive with the horn. Bit of feeding going on in the big shed. Find out in a minute what term. Um, Ben thinks killed that pigeon that had no head and no neck left, but the whole body still there. Um, he's got an idea. He'll let us know next. Oh, it's a big mention and it's shot Damien Devlin, who's 60 today. So thank you very much for spotting Yorkshire Ambulance. Well over 4,000 pounds raised now. So Andy's just filling that up. I'm trying to get out of the noise a little bit. Ben's doing that. We'll find out what killed the bird. So what killed the pigeon yesterday? In your opinion? A sparrow. Why is that? Because the head was gone. What, they always just take the head off? Take the head and, yeah, a little bit of a neck had gone, but nothing else. It's all gone now, though. I know, I've noticed it's disappeared, actually. Rats. Yeah, maybe. Or dogs. Are you going to tell me it's not a sparrow? Or someone said it's somewhere else. Um, no, a few people said, like, it might be a fox, it might be this, it might be that, but... It was quite healthy. We weren't like uh, unhealthy pigeon be, walking around. You can see where it'd be pinged as well, it's ever swung in. And then it had moved into there to eat us for that few. Yeah. So Sparrow, what we reckon? Business. Andy's just putting away the 210 and the mixer. Ben's just doing the last few bits off fodder beat. Ben's just feeding out with the KW bucket, but 
Oh. We think one of the bearings is about gone. But we just got this last line to do, so he'll get it done and we'll, uh, we'll have to look into fixing it in the next couple of days. So you can see there's a lot of movement in it. Um, yeah, it's totally, it's totally shot to pieces. A really, really good bucket this, like the speed that it can process beat, but um, it just does go through bearings quite a bit. I've got it. Screens that aren't meant to be like smashed against each other all the time, are they, Andy? I suppose. But, um, it, you know, it's just one of the things. You, we, look, we have actually got both in stock. You've just reminded me, haven't we? So we've got them in stock to do it, so we'll just get it done. So <laughs> everything is in the shed that's working. That's still outside. It, it didn't go in the shed anyway. Um, I hope that you've liked today's video. If you have, please press a like button. It made me feel better about that thing. Um, subscribe if you've not read it, because we're very close to a special number, Andy. Did okay. you know that? We're gonna have a party. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we probably will get a party for that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and we will catch you tomorrow. We'll probably be fixing that bucket. Bye. You what? I was no one noticed that. Like I got on first time I reversed it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Nobody's really, we have only just started using that bucket, haven't we? Yeah, it's been on the other one. Well, it was working on the other day. Oh, oh right. You, 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 you so it's you that's broke it then? I, no, I used it. What a when surprise! Did when did I use it? You didn't notice it the other day, did it? It I didn't. Sat, Obviously, I wanted it Saturday afternoon, so it must have been Friday I used it last. It's mm. not just not just gone on me mm. now, though, it's been gone on it. Been gone at least a day and a half. We'll blame Ben. I think a day and a half at most, actually. Yeah. Right, anyway, bye! Nice. It's Ben's fault. <laughs>